We've made it to the third article of the Apostles' Creed and our discussion of identity found within the Apostles' Creed. So the third article is, And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The theme of the third article is often talked about as sanctification, which is the process by which we become holy. And you'll know that as a sinner, we are incapable of beholding the holy, of interacting with it, because we ourselves are broken and unholy. But because of baptism, the Holy Spirit comes into us, and we are simultaneously saint and sinner. So as a saint, as the Holy Spirit is in us, we are able to do good. We are able to believe. We are able to do good things in the world. Um, and this is important because it plays into a key source of our identity as Christians, or a way to further explain our identities, and that is vocation. Vocations are the spots in life that you occupy that tell you something about how you relate to the people around you and give you clear instructions about what you're supposed to be doing and how best to do those things. So for example, some of my vocations include wife and mother and daughter and friend. Wife tells me who I am in relation to my husband. Mother tells me who I am in relation to my son. Same thing for being a daughter, same thing for being a friend, for an employee, and so on. And so vocations tell us who we are, and they can tell us what we're supposed to be doing. And the reason that this is important is because now that we've been made new in baptism, now that we have been, we've put on the new flesh, um, we're supposed to act differently. We call a sprinkler a sprinkle because it sprinkles water. That's what it does. And we call Christians Christian because they're supposed to just be Christian, Christian all over the place. And what that means is that we turn, we want to do the will of God. And the will of God is laid out most clearly in the Ten Commandments in the two tables. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. And your vocations tell you how to love your neighbor. They tell you how to interact in the world, how to be in the world, how to live life while we wait for either our death or for the resurrection, for the return of Christ and the resurrection of the dead. In the next video, we're going to talk about specifically the church and our identity in the church. But as far as going out into the world, remember that even when you're not in church, you are still a Christian. Even when you are walking around, just living life, you are doing so as a redeemed person. And so the way you live is different. And vocations can be helpful in reminding us, hey, this is what you're supposed to be doing. And showing us the third use of the law, the fact that, hey, this is, this is how we live. This is what we do. And when we're not doing that, the Holy Spirit leads us to repent, to receive the forgiveness, the absolution, and to go back out and to try again, knowing that we do all because Christ has died for us.